welcome back to my channel if you are new oh welcome a huge big hug ah it's been a minute but I think that you guys know why it's because as you know um, my mom passed away and it it stole my joy to be honest and it's hard I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not still hard because it would be a while before I get back to my normal self but in the meantime she would be happy to know that I am still continuing on this sustainable journey because she really inspired it so yeah guys as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters we embrace imperfect sustainability so here are some sustainability tips to encourage you on your journey if you so desire so today as the caption shows we are back at Zara and before you throw a stone this is an imperfectly sustainable channel yes and I do the very best as I can but Zara definitely is my vice I haven't shopped at it in ages in fact if you look at my previous hauls you would see that I am hauling things from my closet my friends closet but when Zara had their sale um, in December January I bought a few stuff and by a few just about three items because we don't do long hauls on this channel even and when we do we often consider fabric fit and style so with that mantra in mind this is what we are doing today first I would show you what I got recently mainly it's because I've been looking for a substitute for this because since lockdown yeah so these are not fitting as great as they used to so that's why we are doing this haul today and it's mainly it's I I, I often feel guilty when I shop fast fashion so I may not even keep them to be honest because I've been looking on thread up and I've been looking at other online stores to find substitute pieces it's it's often just hard at times to find the right piece that you like and that's the downside sometimes of thrifting but we are still at it um, I'm gonna try these two pieces out so I got this piece to replace the piece that I have just shown you and guys I don't know if it's working but it's in a really really nice color I really love it a nice aquamarine greenish color you know guys that's my color palette it's the family of colors that I love really really love it of course it's white leg and it has a belt that comes with it <laughs> does this have my name written all over it or not <laughs> so I'm going to try it it's made from a hundred percent cotton but it's a very soft cotton um, and it's also very textured but it also makes me feel like it has a bit of elastin or some stretchy fabric because I don't know on the Zara's website sometimes it doesn't even give you the full composition of the materials I'm it's a bit suspicious with Zara seriously so Zara what are you up to and I will show you what I mean with another piece that I hauled so anyway we are going to try this and see if it's going to 
be a great substitute for this piece. not translating well but it's like uh, uh sea green it's really really nice on my skin tone as well you know guys anything in the green family really really complements my skin um it's not as long as i normally like them to be but that's okay since i'll be wearing it as casually um, as I could and so a sandal would be just fine so yeah it's not as long but the belt is oh the belt is just problematic it's definitely not helping itself by not staying put the belt doesn't wow me it doesn't stay put See? I'm beginning to think it might look better undone, like like this. longer without the belt sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love you let's get back to the video now where i'm really trying to make this work for me when you're trying this hard to make something work for you it means that this is not something that's fitting seamlessly into your wardrobe so it's one of the key things to consider whenever you are trying to make a decision as to whether or not you should keep an item. I am a belt person, but I do think this looks better unbelted. Forgive the no makeup. Actually, I am not apologizing. This is the real me um, without makeup most times, especially now that I'm working from home. But I think this is a bit too expensive. I like the style, it's my style, it's my fabric. As you know, fabric, fit, and style, that mantra helps me make decisions as to whether or not I buy or keep an item. Fabric, 100% cotton. Fit, the fit is a bit too big, but that's because I intentionally bought it extra large um, because I wanted it to be a bit bigger at the bottom and longer as well style definitely my style and jumpsuit the second most popular item in my wardrobe so yeah and of course buttons and as i've mentioned earlier i thought that zara was listening to me when i had asked that it bring back a jumpsuit that i bought about four, four or five years ago now it's a hundred percent linen very similar style really love it and wanted it in extra large because it's such a great fit but the the length is not the same so it's not the same thing and the material is not the same so 
let's try this so this is the piece in question and oh god guys i love this piece so much such a great fit absolutely stunning color as well as material but this is how it fits now and as you could see at the chest area there's a gap look at the legs it's sweeping the floor just the way i like it the only thing is across the chest area which always has some issues but i don't mind squeezing the girls in a bit but yeah this is such a better quality look look at how gorgeous it is it's really cute don't mind this and the color is great uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it the second piece I hauled is this gorgeous linen blend high-waisted pants I love this style of pants not only do I love high-waisted wide leg pants but I love when it has an invisible waist or no waist because I find that very flattering on me. And I'll show you what I mean because in the past, I have shown you some pieces that I just love because they are really, really great fit. I absolutely love that style. waisted and when it comes in a linen blend which guys I've looked on Zara and it's showing me 50% European linen but I don't know what the other 50 <laughs> I don't know what's up with Zara I don't know what the mystery is all about Zara <laughs> keeping my eyes on you because huh, huh, you have to tell us what the linen is blended with so it's 50% European but what's the other 50% I've looked everywhere but in its defense, it does feel like there is an ounce of synthetic fiber in it. So maybe there's cotton. It's a mix of cotton and linen. And for me, that's the perfect blend of natural fibers because it would somewhat decrease the wrinkles that linen is often prone to. I'm going to try it and see if it lasts. This is a large and we'll see. So guys, as you could see, the large in this particular style is a bit snug it fits but I would rather be comfortable with a size or two up because I love it really really voluminous I love it to be really really sweeping the floor and I would love to put shirts like these inside of it and right now with the large it doesn't give me that option and 
I like to know that my pieces would last a very long time. So maybe I'm likely to exchange it. And if I do, then I'll show you what the sizes up look like. Okay. So this is the extra large and it's really really extra large I thought because of the cut it would fit but when I exchange it actually this is the extra extra large my bad that's why it's so big and even when I put a blouse in it it's still too big and it doesn't give me that nice high-waisted effect that I love yeah it's really really that's a lot so I don't care about size as long as it gives me the look I'm looking for I'm fine with it but this definitely doesn't give me that look yeah and it's the reason why the tag is still on <sighs> it's a lot I love the length of it and I love the way it matches with this. It's such a great monochromatic look. Oh well, I'll just have to return it. <sighs> okay, when it comes to Zara, trust me, while it has a tiny hold on me, I don't keep stuff and try to fit them into my closet. That's definitely not the goal so I'm happy to return it until I find something that is satisfactory to me so that's why sometimes I return to the place of least resistance <laughs> because I wanted to test not only my strength but when you're transitioning to slow fashion it's important to see if certain brands have a hold on you still and if you could resist them i've learned that i could resist zara because my shopping habits at zara was definitely ah uh, up there and it's the same like if i know that i'm tempted to buy something it's like junk food you know you have your cravings and in some cases the cravings go away yeah in my case the cravings for Zara are definitely dissipating so it's great it's a great feeling I love that so yeah that's for the pieces that are recent but for the past few months when I was away looking after my mom I <laughs> I bought these pieces guys as I've told you guys in the past I am imperfectly sustainable and I try my very best to keep my mantra in mind the only time I often don't stick to my mantra it's when I'm buying shapewear so I have decided to try Zara shapewear so if anyone knows there are cotton ones out there or any other ones that, that would replace these, I'll be happy not to buy any more in the future. But for now, this is what I have. It's my only option. I really can't find any more. Um, but at the same time, what I like to take into consideration and what I console myself about is the fact that I consume less. I rarely buy synthetic items and if I have them and for these, they're gonna be worn to death. I don't normally buy like lots of shapewears. My nylons, my tights, even my tights right now are cotton, like not the lacy ones but the winter ones they are cotton but i can give myself a break and some slack knowing that i am quite sustainable 
in other areas and as much as we possibly can the goal is to decrease our consumption and production of new synthetic items so I bought this and also mainly because of my condition to help with shaping the items on my body and so that's that the other piece I bought guys was this piece I wanted this so badly to take to my country because it's supposed to be the perfect fit this again Zara has issues with its sizes I don't understand this is supposed to be an extra large and it doesn't look that way at all but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it but one of the other things that Zara salespeople need to pay attention to is the fact that look at this it's not even long enough for an extra large piece I don't know if by some oversight that the Zara sale personnel didn't notice that this was unevenly cut the cut is jagged it looks like somebody bought it and it was too long for the person and they cut it jaggedly I don't know if anybody had bought this piece and find it to look suspicious but normally when you get a rahim from Zara it doesn't look like this look look it's it's falling apart it's fraying really really badly honestly this is not good and I was not very happy to be honest but I will try it and see how it fits and I'll let you guys know the final decision made. today so I had to temporarily undo this but I love the way it is up here so it would go back just now but yeah yeah let's do this for a second so the next thing I got it's a boot you know me yeah and for me, I'm not necessarily into this boot type, but it's a classic. And with my back injury these days, I've been gravitating towards lower heel boots. And plus, this is really, really tall. So I love this. And look at the. Look at this. This is a good looking boot. I swear it's just gorgeous. Ah, the elegance. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's brown. Brown is right below green on my color palette. So, you can't go wrong. This could pair with anything in my wardrobe. So, it's ideal. It's leather. There are some tips that you guys need to consider when you're considering buying newly produced leather. Zara claim that it does buy its leathers from the meat industry, so that's good. So guys, I am not here to cast stones at anybody who wants to go out there and do their thing. The only thing I place such emphasis on is not to do it so often seriously you could consume less i love zara too but i haven't bought anything 
for ages and only when absolutely necessary like right now due to my current situation so it's really really pretty I love this boot and it's something I would have in my wardrobe for a very long time so I'm gonna style it with um, a piece that I got from my mom Okay, so what happened is that I wasn't quite satisfied with, to be honest, I'm not quite satisfied with this piece. I don't think it's up to par with my piece in my closet, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna likely wait until Zara brings it out in a linen and yeah, absolutely, this piece I'm going to return. Yeah. So that's it, guys. I hope that you have learned something. And I hope that in the process of your transition to sustainability or slow fashion, you don't be too hard on yourself. For me, buying from Zara is not a slip-up because... I often incorporate my mantra, which helps me to stay on track with my consumption habits. I don't buy a lot. So I love the fact that I can go on Zara and ignore so many pieces that I could have bought and that I have bought in the past. I'm giving myself some kudos, honestly. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember to always love yourself, accept your perfect imperfections, because they are what make you unique and absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.